A very powerful and very useful feature in WordPress is Featured Images. And you'll see the box for this down at the lower right by default. This is where it shows up. Featured Image. Now keep in mind you'll only see this box if your theme supports Featured Images. This is built into WordPress but it's not there by default. You have to actually call it up. And even then your theme may or may not use Featured Images in different ways. and We'll see how that works. Now for example, this is a post that has a number of images in it. There's a gallery right there. So let's go down and choose one of those as our featured image. We go to our gallery here, and we find one, let's say it's the clownfish, and we show it so we can see all the information about it, and there's use as featured image. We save it, we see that that's all done, and then down below it shows up here so we can quickly see. Now it's very easy to remove a featured image. You just go like that. And there we go. And I can set a different one if I wanted to. For example, I go up here. Now I don't have to use the images in this gallery. I could use anything from the media library that I want. But let's go back and we'll choose a one from here. Let's say it's these beach palms. And we set as featured image. There we go. Now again, how this gets used as a featured image will depend on the theme. For example, sometimes themes will, when you're listing a, a whole bunch of posts, it'll show the featured image to the right or the left, and that's the one that sort of displays like a thumbnail. In this particular case, this theme doesn't support it, but this theme does support this image up here being replaced by a featured image for a post or a page. Let's see how that works. So this is the Contact Us page, and we go down to Set Featured Image. Now in this case, we have no images associated with this particular page, so there's no gallery up here. So I just go to the Media Library. Now I've already uploaded a header image for the Contact Us page, so I drop that down, and I choose Use as Featured Image, and there we see it down below there now. Now, very important, the way this function works in this particular theme, this is in the 2010 theme, is the image, oh, by the way, I update, don't forget to do that. All right, the way it works here is the image has to be of a certain size. It has to be a minimum of this size. If it's not, it won't actually get used. Even if you've set it as the featured image, if it's too small, it won't appear up here. Now, I've made it so it's the right size. And look what happens. WordPress automatically replaces the header image up here with whatever I put as that featured image. So you could have a different header on each page. And that can be very handy for a lot of different uses. You wouldn't want to change, for example, in this particular case, we have our title in our header image. But what I could do is change the background image on a particular page so that if I'm at a particular destination, say Bermuda, I could have it show up here with a picture of Bermuda in it. Have all my other information but a different picture in the background. 